You know, there is an issue that I've been talking about the whole five years I've been in the New York State Assembly. The general issue I'm always talking about because it's so pernicious is what I call corporate welfare. And despite the $4 billion budget gap that we're dealing with, the corporate welfare gravy train continues to make all the stops. None of that was taken out of the budget. Very concerning. Even more concerning, yesterday on a radio show, the Senate Majority Leader, a fellow Republican, highlighted the Hollywood tax credit, which I think of all the corporate welfare programs is the most dysfunctional, uh, the most anti-middle class, and we actually have proof of the Hollywood tax credit not working. And I say we have proof because a few years ago, uh, Cuomo's, uh, Governor Cuomo assigned Carl McCall and others to review the tax code and see what was working and what wasn't. And Carl McCall's tax commission, which is really Governor Cuomo's tax commission, said the Hollywood tax credit, $420 million per year, almost a half a billion dollars in subsidies a year, said it's not working, it should be scaled back, or in my, in my opinion, eliminated, because we don't get the bang for our buck. So even though we're in tough times here, we know Governor Cuomo is for this because he included it, all $420 million in his budget presentation. Now we have the leader of the Senate, which is to say the leader of the Republicans in this state, saying, yeah, we're not even going to look at that. That's untouchable. That is very concerning. We know that it doesn't work. The governor's own people have said so. There's also a nexus of pay to play and the Hollywood tax credit that we know about. If you recall, a few years ago, Sony Pictures had their emails hacked. And it came out in those hacked emails that executives in Sony were discussing, hey, uh, Governor Cuomo is coming to California for a fundraiser. We need to pony up 50K because he's a defender of this tax credit. So we know big campaign contributions are coming in uh, to the governor and others to keep this taxpayer-funded subsidy that we know doesn't work in place. It's outrageous. And the irony of a Republican uh, leader in this state supporting that is this. You're supporting bad policy, which is bad on its face. You're also going to help the governor fundraise, and he's going to use that fundraising success from Hollywood against you and your fellow Republicans. So it's bad on the policy level. It's bad on the political level. And if we can't touch that, if we can't touch it, something that we know is bad, that we know is not working, that's too big, too bloated, it gives money to the most glamorous uh, industry, and you know the, the pizzeria, the dry cleaner, the local pharmacy, there's, there's nobody looking out for them, but Hollywood's being taken care of. If we can't touch that in a year when we have this big budget gap, boy, when are we ever going to take care of the taxpayer? When are we ever going to do something for the middle class? Very concerning. This will be uh, a center point of my focus for the next few weeks while we're really hammering out the details of the budget. I'm writing a letter to Senator Flanagan, the Senate Majority Leader, saying, you have to relook at this. Maybe, maybe you're not aware of this. Fine. Look at the facts. Look at the Sony issue. Look at Carl McCall's report. Don't do this. Shrink it back or better yet, eliminate it.